Hey guys, Dillerbacher here t with the Tactical Paintball League. I want to go over these super simple, super easy to make tripwire uh, paintball landmines. So they're going to be perfect for the EOD. I have them in flash bang pouches here. Um, I'm actually going to sell these on the website and at games if you don't have the time or uh, energy to make them. So, uh, but they work great. They're so simple, so easy to make. I'd encourage you to make your own if you can. And uh, like I said, if you got more um, money than time, you're welcome to buy them at the field from me. Um, but they're super simple. So what we got is two-inch PVC pipe that we've cut. It's about five and a half inch length. Cut it at a nice angle so that it can pound into the ground. Uh, it's about a half inch drill hole there. Now this is surgical tubing. I think it's about uh, one millimeter uh, outer diameter, half a millimeter inner diameter. But it's got to be the right surgical tubing since it's a six inch piece. Um, it's real simple to do, to make and, and to deploy. I'm going to actually fill one up for you right now. The way that I'm going to sell these when I do is with this um, syringe. And so I'll show you how, to, how simple it is right now. We use water just to kind of test it. It's going to take two of these, and it's tough, man. You got to really push it down there, pinch it, and it takes a little bit of practice. I'm kind of under the gun here. I don't want this to take too long, but uh, when you're going to press it in, you know, give it a little, little bit of a push to kind of equalize the pressure, and then you'll feel it. It'll really be pushing back on your thumb. You're going to have a lot of thumb muscles here. Oh man, that's, that's tough. So it takes a little bit of practice, and then pinch it pinch it once you got it. There we go. And then I'll hold it off to the side. A little bit of water tends to squirt out. Or this would be paint if you're filling it for real. You pinch the end. Um, go ahead and you take this two inch PVC. You're going to stick it into here. It fits real tight in here into this bladder. This two inch pipe. Really got to work it into there. So I'm pull, actually pulling it from the other side here. So work it down, keeping it pinched all the time because I don't want it to, to spray out. So it came pretty easy once I pulled it from the other side. So now um, keeping it pinched down low, you're going to just need to feed the tip through and then pinch it from the other end. It tends to splurt out if you let that go for, you know, too much. You fold over the end, you put the cap on cap fits nice and snug and then voila there you go this is a uh, really simple tie a fishing line onto the end um, I put a keychain on the end of mine just to find the end real easy um, and then you would put it back in your flashbang pouch actually I like to tuck all this stuff into the top okay. put it back in your flashbang pouch with a tent stake to set it up Smally setup, put it back on your rig. Do the same with the other one, and we'll move into the field test next. Hey guys, Dillerbacher here. We're going to go ahead and field test this landmine real quick. So we're going to deploy in the field, pull out our landmine. You know, you want it angled the right way, so if you put it the other way, it'll fall over too easy. So make sure the, the long end is facing, well, I guess it's ain't got to aim this way anyway, never mind. <laughs> That's where I drilled the hole. Otherwise, I would have drilled the hole in the wrong spot. So. It's going to have to be in there pretty good, though. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to dislodge the cap, but you want these bad boys to work when they work.
tripwire test. You can't tell, but I'm, I'm not looking down, kind of acting like I'm nice all over. And it even kept spraying at me from the tree above my head. Excellent.